Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to President elect Joe Biden and to Vice President elect Kamala Harris. His Majesty the King expressed Bahrain's pride in the strong and deep rooted historical relations with the United States that date back to more than 120 years and the Kingdom's keenness to continue constructive cooperation at all levels to enhance the strategic ties. His Majesty expressed his wishes of further progress and prosperity to the friendly American people. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to President-elect Joe Biden and to Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. His Royal Highness Prime Minister expressed Bahrain's pride in the strong and deep-rooted historical relations with the United States spanning more than 120 years as well as the Kingdom's keenness to continue constructive cooperation at all levels to enhance the strategic ties. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa wished further progress and prosperity to the friendly American people. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory table to, a cable to the President-elect of the United States of America, Joe Biden, and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. In the cable, His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing and historic partnership between Bahrain and the United States, which spans over 120 years, and noted Bahrain's commitment to expanding joint bilateral cooperation across all levels. His Royal Highness went on to wish the people of the United States greater prosperity and advancement. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the new victory of the Paris FC team under the slogan Victorious Bahrain against Dunkirk in the French League 2. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Paris FC team has achieved many gains to promote the kingdom in major international events, stating that seeing the kingdom's name in major events is one of the greatest gains that Bahrain strives to achieve as part of Bahrain economic vision of 2030. His Highness added that the new victory of the Paris FC team gives it an, an incentive to continue to achieve victorious in pursuit of the desired goal, which is to reach the first division league next season. He wished the team success in its next match. Meanwhile, the Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali bin Salah al-Salah. The session approved the recommendation of the Services Committee to consider the proposal regarding the establishment of a Supreme Council for Medical Studies. It also approved a draft law on the protection of new plant varieties. The Council then approved the request of the chairman of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee to return the state's final account report for the fiscal year 2017, the state's general budget implementation performance report for the same year, the disclosure of transfers from the calculation of other estimates for ministries and government agencies for the fiscal year 2017, the state's final account for the fiscal year 2018, and the state's general budget implementation performance report for the same year. Worshippers performed noon prayers today in mosques in various regions of the kingdom within the framework of the gradual return of collective worship and religious gatherings while following precautionary measures necessary to combat the coronavirus. Mosques are open Fajr and noon prayers every day of the week except Friday when noon or Friday prayers will not be held. The holding of prayers has been suspended in all mosques and prayer rooms since the 23rd of March in order to curb the spread of the coronavirus and as commitment to national and humanitarian responsibilities. The Ministry of Housing, in cooperation with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, organized a workshop for the beneficiaries of the Salman City, the Ramli District, Salmabad and the Lozi Housing Units on the construction requirements of building boundaries and the most prominent violations that may harm the architectural facades of residential projects. This workshop is listed within the recommendations of the Ministerial Committee for Development Plans and Infrastructure Projects and aims to give informational presentations on obtaining building permits, expansion forms and maintenance requests. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,172 with 237 recoveries and 241 registered new cases. 76 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 148 are contacts of active cases and 17 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.